friends, welcome back to the sawmill. We're down here in the shop today because, bear with me here, I was hoping to be sawmilling today, but in the past probably three to four days, we've got about five inches of rain here in Northeast Tennessee. It's just been a mess. One of the uh, largest trees, maybe in the United States, it's an oak tree over in Jonesboro. I'll try to find a picture to put up right here. I actually got blown over the other day. I believe that tree, the diameter is about seven foot through the middle. And I could be wrong, it may be bigger than that. But we had just had some terrible storms come through here and it took that big tree right over. Hate to see that, but things happen. I bet that tree was probably, without a doubt, maybe three, maybe 400 years old. Just terrible loss right there, but that's just part of it. Mother Nature said it was time to go and it was time to go. So we got a lot going on today. We're gonna to be working in the shop because this ground out here, friends, is just so saturated. If I get the track loader out or the tractors and start moving logs up to the mill, it's gonna make a complete mess. But it's supposed to be nice now for about the next five days. So hopefully in about two days, it will dry up enough to where we can get back on that cherry. And I've also got the large walnut. I'll show that to you guys before this video is over. There's a walnut log, friends, I've had here for about a year, and it's the biggest walnut log that I've ever gotten. And we're gonna be putting that on the sawmill, hopefully next week, as long as the rain holds off and we can get it up there safely. It's heavy. I took the track loader and I picked it up off the ground just to move it out of the weeds. And I tell you what, that track loader weighs, I think, over 8,000 pounds. And that log, it was all it wanted. I could feel it, you know, tilting forward just a little. That's a massive walnut log. We'll take a look at that before this day's over. Now I got a lot of stuff on my list to get done today, friends. I need to put up a small little petition over here. I need to work on the anvil stand. I need to put a new table together for my new welder to go on. And I also need to get some bolts and put them in some vinegar. And that, that will make more sense once we do that here in just a minute. But the first thing we need to do, friends, is head up to the other shop and get some carriage bolts, or some lad bolts, rather. Not carriage bolts, Nathan, come on. Some lad bolts, bring them back down here, and also get a welding table that I bought, gosh, maybe, maybe a year ago or something like that. I, I don't know when I bought it. I've been acquiring a lot of tools, friends, for this metalworking venture for a long time. And everything I show today, most of it, Actually, just about everything but the forge I bought on Amazon, and there's links down below to all the tools that you see today in case you're interested. And this video was sponsored by me, not any of these tool companies are sponsored. I bought every tool that you're gonna to see today, guys. All right, friends, a slight change of plans. Dad just pulled up and he needs some poplar to build some shelves. So let's go ahead and grab him. We'll run some poplar through the planer and skip plane it for him, get him loaded up, and then we'll head up to the other shop and grab that welding table.
friends. Here is the workstation. It's actually a mobile welding workstation made by Clutch. I know I told you guys I bought everything on Amazon. I'm pretty sure though, I got this at Northern Tool. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think that's where it came from. And the reason we're gonna put this together today is because I need to set up my bandsaw with a new jig that I bought for it to cut the metal that goes on the anvil stand. So this right here needs to be put together so we're not doing that in the floor. Even though a lot of the stuff I'm doing seems kind of sporadic, everything today has a purpose to get to an end goal of setting up the anvil today and further setting up the blacksmith area. I was gonna carry this in the shop, but it weighs about 100 pounds. Go ahead and get the biggest pieces out. All right, friends, there's a lot more pieces there than I thought there would be. Let's see if we can get this done. me about an hour not too long so like i was saying earlier friends this is a welding table pretty sure i got it northern tool it's going to come in real handy with this new welder i got and also the blacksmithing area over here but the main reason we put this together today is because i got to assemble a jig that goes on my bandsaw to cut some metal that's going to be used for the anvil stand so that's what we're going to be working on next and uh one more thing this little table came with a bunch of these little jigs right here that are magnets. Keep you welding nice and straight, or nice and square rather. Pretty nice. It came with a whole bunch of different attachments like this, or different accessories like this. That <laughs> sounds a lot better, attachments. This ain't a tractor, my goodness. So here is the next thing to assemble. And this is for the bandsaw. This should only take a few minutes to put together, famous last words, it'll probably take me two hours. But I'll put this together and I'll be right back with you guys. Don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. 